Hello everyone, Diana here. Today I thought it might be interesting to take a look at the new product that just came out for Cartoon Animator 5 and it's called their Puppet Profile plugin with the Puppet Gems. Now what this is is basically an advanced layering of different movements already drawn out for you so that you can just drag and drop onto your animation and it will automatically do that function. Under the puppet profile you have a transform where you can follow something and flip it or you can follow something and bring it in a forward angle. It, it has just a really wonderful little pre-drawn animation settings. Then you have your wave, which allows you to go up and down, float, move forward and backwards. You've got your motion, which allows you to loop and play and make an elastic emotion and prop emotion. Then you have a flock, which allows you to do quite a few things with more than just one object. Then the Puppet Gems has your Transform, and in it you have a Move, Rotate, Scale, Move and Rotate, Move and Scale, and Rotate and Scale, and then Move, Rotate and Scale. Then when we go to Wave, it does basically the same thing. You have your movements where you can go side to side X or up and down Y, follow it around in a circle, just all kinds of little movements. And then when you go to rotate, you're actually all kinds of different rotations that you can use. Then you have your scale, which allows you to do different types of scaling. Then you can move and rotate, move and scale, rotate and scale, and move, rotate and scale. Then under motion, you have FFD rolling, slapping, squashing, and walking. I haven't played with any of these, so we're going to experience them at the same time. And under Flock, you have, uh, once again, a dozens of little movement activities that you can do with linking it to three items at once. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Custom, and I'm going to go down to Props. And I've already set up all the little props that I'd like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my background and then get it in place. Now once we have our background set, then we're going to add some little fun things and with each one we'll test out some of the products and see what it does. I tried to use the puppet gems on my moon to make it go from small to large into the screen, but I couldn't find the one that would work and the only one that I did find that would work was very choppy and it wasn't something that I would want to use on a larger image. So we're going to go ahead and play with our little moon. We're going to bring it down. We're going to bring it straight up. And that's on our, we've got our timeline open to path. And here's our first path. And down here at 130, let's make another one. And at 130, we're going to bring this straight down and then bring it up so it fits our scene. Now I always like to select both of them and then right click and get your transition curve and let's smooth it and let's smooth it 75. And so let's see what we got. Now I'm going to bring in the ground. I went back to the beginning and I'm going to bring in the ground and the reason I'm doing it this way is, give me a second here and I'll show you, I want the ground over the printable area. This is an area that will be filmed. Make sure we're back at the beginning. Now let's see what we have. And isn't that wonderful? The moon is behind the ground just like I wanted it to. And now it's time to move on to adding some more. I didn't want to make you have to wait while I added all the items we were going to have in our little Halloween scene. So I went ahead and added all of them. We will go from here to add our animations. The first animation I would like to add is the trees. And I tried some of the new puppetry ones. They don't really work work very well with a big item like this. So I'm going to just take it off the stage first. 
and then I'm going to go to the composer mode so that we'll have some movement with our little tree. We're going to add some bones. So we click on the little bone tool, go over here and click on add bones. And we're going to start down here and we're just going to bring the bone up to the center and then across on the first limb. And once you click, then you right click to release it. Then we're going to add another bone. And so right here, we're going to add a bone so that we can make him move on the other side and then right click to release it. Now that we have our bones connected, let's add our springs. Now I've already done a lesson on this, but this will be a good reminder of what there is that we have to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring all of our bones and we're going to assign them to the group. And the first group is going to be naturally your default group. I'm going to pick that I want a slow movement from the tree. And then we'll click OK. And let's go back. Now I want to move him in. Let's get our timeline up. And I want him Mr. Tree number one. Let's do transform. And I want to come out to 130 and let's add a key. And then I want him to, at that key, we're going to slide him in to place. And so let's go back and let's see how well it does. So we have a little movement here. Not too much, but enough. And then let's go to our second tree and let's drag him out. And let's go to composer mode. Select him. Hit our bone. We're going to add a bone and we're going to start at the bottom where we're going to work our way up. And we want to right here to our first tree limb. And right click to release. And we're going to add another bone. We're going to start right here at the middle. We're going to add it straight up to this one. And right click to release. Then we're going to add another bone. We're going to start it right here. Bring it down. And then right click to release it. Now we've got our three sets of bones that should wiggle pretty good. Now we're going to add all of our bones, assign it to our group, and we want it again to be a gentle, soft, slow movement. Just like blowing in the wind. And we'll go back. First we need to transform, add our key, and we're going to draw him straight in until we get him right where we want him. Now we're going to go back to the beginning and let's see if we got some wiggle in both of them. Coming in with a nice little wiggle. Oh, that's nice. Not too much, not too little. That'll be just right. So now we have our trees prepared and it's time to start playing with the tools to see what this new program will do.